Hey guys, welcome back to the Cobra's Den. And we have a couple of really exciting things today. So, the first one is we have some unboxings as per usual. Some of this for the some of this is for the auction and some of it is personal. But the really big news I'm going to announce at the end. And it is massive, guys, and a real honour for me. So, please make sure you stick around to the end. But for now, let's get on with this unboxing. Okay, so we'll start with this one here. And this one is for the auction. So we have a tube. I'm not sure what it is. Uh, totally, totally sealed. So this is uh, brand new. Looks like it's never been opened at all. And uh, I've got so many bits coming at the moment, I honestly cannot remember or don't know which one's which. So these are all bits for the auction out of this pack. And let's see what we got. Okay, I've opened up the tube. And uh, we have some polystyrene in here. So maybe this wasn't a brand new tube. Uh, but we shall see. It's packed out with a bit of polystyrene. You know that stuff I can't stand. Okay, here we go. So this one wasn't a brand new tube. Uh, because it's got three different types of coins in it. Uh, but they are in absolute pristine condition. So let's have a look. Okay, apologies for that. That was the doorbell and more deliveries. Uh, anyway, getting back to where we were. Let me just get a glove on because I was just about to show you these pieces that all came in one tube. And if you've seen the first auction, you'll know that we have add-ons. Um, so a couple of these might go in as add-ons, which means if you win the bid... Uh, then you can add on uh, one of these bullion pieces at a very good price. So here we have the Armenian uh, Noah's Ark uh, with the dove there and uh, all the water and the land just coming back up. So that's an absolutely beautiful coin. And I know the stat collector said that when I do this one, I have to say the actual name of the mint. Yeah, there's absolutely no chance about that. Uh, it's a very complicated name, apparently. Maybe on the day. Maybe on the day. And on the back there, it says uh, Republic of Armenia. And then uh, a few other bits and pieces. But that is an absolutely beautiful coin. And I never really paid attention to this before. Uh, but looking at it now, yeah, lovely. And the second coin is the Myths and Legends, and it's Merlin. Uh, now, with all the uh, role-playing games that I played back in the day, Magic was a big part of it, and Merlin was definitely uh, a very strong uh, sorcerer. So, there you go, that's Merlin. And again, uh, it may be an add-on, or it may be forbidding, we'll see on the day. But again, another beautiful coin... And on the back, we have King Charles III. And the next one here is actually uh, one of my favourite coins. I really like this. I uh, love elephants. And this is the African Wildlife Elephant. And I believe, let me just spin that round, that it is from the Somalian Republic. So that's the 2023 um elephant out of the African wildlife series and it's really a beautiful beautiful coin really really like that and the thing with this is as well I do have it in one ounce gold which is uh, a testament to it because I will not get a coin in one ounce gold unless I really like it and there you go that shows you I guess that I do Okay, so in that same package, we also had a little bit of gold. And um, I was asked to get some gold by everyone on the last auction. 
So we are going to get some, and it's going to be from the smallest amount all the way up. And we have these very nice one gram bars. Now I don't know if you can see that very well. Uh, but yep, yeah, a one gram bar, and these will be going at an extremely good price, considering premiums on one gram bars are quite high. Um, but there you go. So we have a few of them. And uh, they will be going up in the auction as well. There you go. Okay, now for the next package. And do remember that everything I get, I will test with the Sigma um, and weigh them. Um, so you are guaranteed that whatever you buy on the auction will always be uh, as it's stated, as it should be. Um, you're never going to get it and find that. Uh, it's not silver, it's a fake or anything like that. Because we will do all our due diligence on this side. Okay, so here's another little thing. Uh, won it on an auction actually, on eBay. And um, the decimal, decimal coin range of Great Britain and Northern Ireland, 1971. Which is a year, obviously, that we went to decimalization and all the coins changed uh, the united kingdom adopted a decimal coinage system on the 15th of february 1971 this proof set contains some of the first examples of these coins so i want it at a very very good price and i just thought you know what i'm gonna have that uh, and so this one is actually for me so let's have a look at what we got here as you open up the box, you get a little uh, like certificate or explanation and it just tells you a bit about it all. Um, all about decimalization and it is from the Royal Mint. And then here is the actual pack. Uh, and you have the old 5p, 10p, 50p, 1p, 2p and a half penny. And I'm not sure about that top thing, I think that's just... Uh, you know, for the pack, let's say. And on the reverse, that top one says Queen Elizabeth, or Elizabeth Regina, uh, 1971. And there are the backs. And actually, I'm really, really chuffed. And as I say, this is for me. Um, but I won it, and I, I got it for about £12, I think, 12 or £15. Um, and for something that is, you know, uh the new sort of change of the money back in the day um i'm really chuffed with that so yeah that is for the personal collection and i know there's no real big value in it but for me there is okay moving on to the next one let's see what we got in here and as i say there's uh so many bits and pieces coming in now i don't know what's what i don't know if it's personal for me or um Oh, I hate this stuff. Look, I'm going to show you this. These envelopes are a joke because you open it up and there's just all that crap in it and it goes everywhere. So that's another little bugbear of mine. A bit like uh, the old um, polystyrene. But anyway, let me try and open this up carefully. Okay, managed to get that out without making too much mess. Here's the package from inside it. Let's open it up and see what we got. Okay, so the Libertads have been really popular on the auction and going really well. A favourite of uh, 365 Days of Silver. And we have another one. So we have another Libertad for the auction. And again, it's another coin that until I started doing these auctions, I never really paid attention to. Uh, but they are absolutely beautiful. And very, very popular as well. Alright, let's change this sand bit round. I love this thing. absolutely love it. It's just so relaxing. Okay, next package. Let's go. Okay, I've opened it out of the box. And we have a small pile there. 
Uh, let's open this up and see what we got. Okay, and here we have the 2010 Britannia. Uh, now, these will be up in the auction. Um, I have a couple. And people are starting to backdate and try and get date runs on the Britannia. And when I say people, that means me as well. Um, yep, I'm um, going to try and get every Britannia uh, that has ever been released. And uh, it's not too bad on the earlier one or, or the later ones, as in the most recent ones. But as you go further down the line, it starts costing a bit of money. But there you go, that will be up in the auction, a 2010 Britannia. Okay, here's the big boy, and this is something a little bit special. So, let's open this up. Now, if this is what I think it is, which it is, then this is going to be one of the star attractions, I think. And here we go. Libertad Plata Silver. Now, that is quite a large box and it comes with an outer covering so I'm just going to take that off there we go and we'll place that down there and then we have a beautiful wooden box which says Banco de Mexico and when I open this up wow that is stunning. There you go, guys. This is a Libertad set, a seven coin set, and it's a five ounce, a two ounce, one ounce, half ounce, quarter ounce, uh, I'd say a tenth and a twentieth, and these are all proof coins. Now, obviously, uh, you must be thinking, well, that is going to be extortionately expensive. And it would be, normally. And it comes with uh, a little coin collectors. Now, there are 250 of these sets. That is all. 250. And this is the 2015 set. And they make 250 every year. Um, and it, honestly, like when you hold it in your hand, it's absolutely stunning. Um, and I've managed to get this one and maybe another one. Uh, and I got it at a great price. And I will promise you this, it's going on the auction. And it will be starting at least £200 under the cost of what it would be. I'm going to pull out the 5 ounce just to show you the detail on it. As a proof. Wow. Look at that. That is absolutely gorgeous. That is a five ounce proof Libertad. Uh, yeah, I mean, absolutely gorgeous. And the detail, oh my God. That's stunning. Oh. I'm going to have to get one for myself somehow. <laughs> anyway, so that is going in the auction. That's one of the big boys. A seven set of Libertad's Proof Coins 2015. I'll just put that up there. And there you go. Okay, so that is that. Now... I'm going to give you one announcement and then I'm going to give you the big announcement. At the moment, I am on 680 subscribers, which is absolutely amazing and I thank you all for that. I did promise you that 600, 700, 800, 900 and 1,000, I would give away one of my uh, Cobra Stacker coins. And so, as I say, we're only 20 away. And if I can get to that 20 or get to 700 uh, by the time of the auction, then um, we'll do a little competition live in the auction. 
and someone will win the one ounce Cobra Stacker coin. So we're only 20 away. Um, so thank you so much for that. But there's an even bigger announcement to make. Are you ready for this one? So I have stated that on the auctions there will be a co-host and I will try and alternate it and give get different co-hosts on. Well, I am absolutely amazingly honoured to say that the co-host on the next one is a superstar in our game. And it's going to be Backyard Bullion. Backyard Bullion is going to co-host the next auction on Sunday the 1st of October with me on my channel. And I cannot tell you how much of an honour that is for me. And it's not just because he's, well, he is the biggest one out of us creators in this field. But it's because he's the one that I watched right in the beginning who inspired me, one, to start stacking gold and silver. But secondly, to start my YouTube channel. And I do have, and I've said it before, I have a little chat with him now and again. And I go to him, look, how do you do this? And how do you do that? in the way of filming, and I was surprised to find out that he actually uses more basic stuff than I do, uh, and yet has put out consistently good videos for a number of years, not just a year or two, but I think it's got to be at least eight years now, maybe more, I may be wrong. But there you go, so that is the massive announcement of today. Backyard Bullion will be co-hosting the next auction which I promise you is going to be absolutely massive. So please come and join us on the 1st of October, Sunday the 1st of October at 19.30, which is 7pm British Mean Time. Wow, so I finally got that one off my chest. There you go. Right, guys, I really hope you've enjoyed this. So just to recap, we have Merlin, Noah's Ark, and uh, the elephant, and they may go as add-ons, extras. We have a normal one ounce Libertad, and we have a little one gram gold ingot bar, and we have the beautiful proof seven coin set of the 2015 Libertad, and I cannot emphasize how beautiful that set is. Uh, so they're just a few additions, and there's a lot more to come. Keep your eyes open and don't forget, tomorrow will be Stackers News Weekly. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, share and subscribe. This is the Cobra Stacker, signing out of the Cobra's Den.